to remember the uh, men from South Danvers Peabody today uh, that fell at the Battle of Concord and Lexington and those who mostly were were slain at the Jacob Russell's uh, at the uh, Russell House in uh, Monotomy, which is today Arlington. Uh, I'd like the president of the Peabody Historical Society to uh, begin the remarks today, Dick St. Pierre. Uh, everybody, welcome here. Delighted to have you come, and we're lucky with the weather and the running of the Boston Marathon, so it's a very important day. Yesterday, I gave a talk at Brooksby Farm on one of our greatest um, founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin. Talked about the importance of his work and his accomplishments and his life as a, you know, just as a normal human being. But it occurred to me this morning on the way down that all the things that he did in Washington and Hamilton, Jefferson and John Adams could not have been accomplished without the work and the sacrifices made by these men and thousands more like them. The people that got in the trenches and faced the British Army, the greatest army in the world at that time, and beat them. And that's what we pay a tribute to, the sacrifices of these early soldiers, militia if you will, and all the Americans who have sacrificed since then in all the services. And it, it, every time we go by here, I go by here a lot, it amazes me how important we need to honor our veterans for a lot of good reasons. And for that, I'm glad we have this ceremony. So again, I want to thank you for coming and thank you for sharing your thoughts about these famous, these good, decent men. Thank you. Former mayor, a member of our board of directors at the Historical Society, Mike Bonfanti, if he could uh, step forward and offer a few remarks, thank you. That thank God to the men and women who serve our country, starting with these gentlemen who gave their life many years ago to start our country off. So on behalf of the city, on behalf of Mayor Ted, I would like to thank you all for coming. And remember, God bless America and God bless us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, on that note, I'd like to thank the members of the City Council who are here and also uh, all of you from the public. And before we begin our, our more solemn ceremonies, if I could have the cha chaplain of the Danvers Salon list come forward for an invocation. It is a great honor, a tremendous privilege to stand in front of a memorial that, that ends with these important words. It was the poet Horace that wrote them long ago, centuries ago. It is a sweet and fitting thing to die for one's country. It is a sweet and fitting thing to die for one's country. These seven men, many of them young, that is three of them just 21 years old, had a very important role to play, not only in the history of our land, but in the history of this community. I'd like to have, if I would please, this, this is a reenactor of, of Mrs. Cook, Samuel Cook's wife. If we don't stop and pause that it's not just these men, but it's their families, their children, all that are at stake. And these men knew that when they marched off on, on April 19th in 1775. They made it as far as Monotomy, and there they were bayoneted, bayoneted, bayoneted by the British in the most bloody and horrible way that can happen in a, in a battlefield. Some of you know about that more than, than others, but these men deserve our credit and our attention as do their beloved ones, that is, their, their families and their children, and their, especially their wives, who will remember this day. She's playing the role of Mrs. Samuel Cook, who was 33 years old, or Benjamin Delon, or George Sathwick, or Gotham Webb, Henry, jo Henry Jacobs, Ebenezer Goldthwaite, or Pearlie Putnam. Three of these young men were just 21 years old when the British did their worst to them less in our, what is now Arlington, Massachusetts. Will you bow your heads with me that we can honor them in prayer? Eternal and loving God, we know that it is in your way that we find the best way. We are grateful for those who were willing to risk all and made terrible toll on their families and on their country, but made, made it so they could stand still and honor 
not only the living, but those that would soon be dead. We ask your blessing upon us, upon all that is gathered here, and the memories of these seven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Our partnership, not only with the uh, Danvers Salam list, but also with the Peabody Veterans Council at these ceremonies is very important to the society and to our city. If I could have Bob Dunn, the commander of the Peabody Veterans Council, to step forward to recall the role and a salute from the Peabody Veterans Honor Guard. Samuel Cook, Benjamin Deland, George Southwick, Jothiah Webb, Henry Jacobs, Ebenezer Goldthwaite, Pearly Putnam. the right shoulder. What we try to do at this ceremony Is, is to make note of the first veterans uh, in this country. Uh, the first, one of the first monuments erected for the uh, commemoration of the events on that day, uh, but also to make note that Peabody's history is important to us all. And the uh, early settlement, the early colonial days are all very, very important and part of a long stretch of history that Peabody ought to be well known for, but maybe sometimes is uh, co-opted by uh, our neighbors, but something we should be very proud of. Uh, with the founding of the Historical Society over 100 years ago, 
uh, to the commemorations that we continue today. Uh, we really appreciate your participation, your remembrances. Uh, we have a brief collation over at the Osborne Salada House. Our reenactors will now be doing the reverse of their usual uh, day here in Peabody is that the next stop will be at the South Burying Ground on Main Street. Uh, will they will they be remembering the grave sites of four of those who are uh, commemorated on this monument today, ending up at the Jacobs lot off Lowell Street uh, in, in what most would call West Peabody. Uh, that is the site of one uh, burial of, of, of Henry Jacobs, and uh, we thank you all. If you'd like to join them at their at the rest of their events, we'd, we'd encourage you to do so. Uh, thank you all very much for coming. Have a, have a wonderful Patriots Day.